What's up you guys, welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. Now, I got over 300 videos to help you learn all things barber and if that's something that interests you, you might wanna consider subscribing. But today's video is all about the Mythic. This is a powerful beast of a clipper, super heavy duty. Will it be my favorite at the end of this video? Well, let's find out. First off, let's talk about some of the stuff we get in the box. We're gonna get the double magnetics, that's awesome. We're also going to get the stretch bracket, which is gonna allow that clipper to open up a little bit further, and when you move your lever, that's gonna fluctuate the length that you can leave the hair and allow you to do fades without switching guards as frequently. Aside from all that, you also get a stand that's gonna help keep it charged and reduce clutter on your station, but you do have 180 minute runtime without any issues. You should be able to do at least four cuts. I'm finding myself do about five, six cuts easy. So the pros of this clipper. The first one I'm gonna list is the weight. I know that a lot of you guys are gonna like the weight and you're gonna feel like it gives you a lot of control. And some of you guys are not gonna like the weight, so I'm gonna probably list that as a negative later. But one good thing about this is you could probably skip a gym day when you start using this clipper. I mean, seriously, it's really heavy, but a lot of the weight is in the lid. And if you pop out the lid and you put the clear lid in, they send you an extra one. You can actually reduce some of the weight, but this is meant to be a robust, heavy duty clipper and we're going to compare it to some stuff later in the video, but let's just keep going with the pros. This, this clipper is super powerful and whisper quiet, and that combination is something I have not seen yet. Most clippers that are super powerful are also very loud, and this is kind of really nice because I'm not finding myself needing to use my detachable as much. In fact, I've kind of been avoiding it because I don't wanna to listen to the noise. If I got a machine that's just as powerful and does the job just as well, I find myself gravitating towards the Mythic for that reason alone. So you guys already seen my video fade blade versus taper blade and you know how I feel about the fusion blade. This blade is really, really easy to blend with. Now on a side note, Gamma just released a new cutter that can fit on all of their clippers and it's available on their website right now and that blade is also a game changer. So it's not that thin one that we're used to, which I love, it's actually a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper tooth, but you also have the stretch bracket, which was the first one that I put on. I like having the stretch bracket because I don't find myself needing to fight with the half guard as much, I'm usually able to accomplish most of my blend between open taper and that number one closed. So I do still use the half, but it reduces the amount of blade and guard switching that I need to do, so I like that stretch bracket. So one of the reasons why it's so quiet is that it has a magnetic motor. I can't understate this enough how quiet it is and how powerful it is simultaneously. With the magnetic motor, there is a trade-off. There's going to be an added amount of weight, but also when you're dealing with kids, when you're dealing with you know trying to talk to people, when you wanna just have a conversation and you don't wanna be yelling over top of your clippers, and let's face it, I work in a shop with a bunch of different guys and everybody's got machines on and it can get pretty loud. If everybody was using one of these, we'd be able to whisper to each other, literally, and the kids are not gonna freak out. So that's a huge, huge plus. Uh, the charging stand is also awesome. I love using a charger stand. I love getting it out of my way and I love knowing that it's just on there and it's just staying charged throughout the days. Another pro that I really like about this clipper is the lever. The lever is super premium. It's really wide. It's very easy to find. And the back, the finish, that little tactile finish just feels awesome in the hands. And once you find the right hand grip, it's just a great clipper to work with. That's pretty much it for the pros. Let's get into the cons. One of the only cons that I could really think of is the weight. Now, this was a big jump coming from the Ergo. It really was, but I'm gonna tell you, after you get used to it, it's really not so bad. But in the very beginning, yeah, the weight was like such a huge jump for me. But really, other than the weight, um, there's not a whole lot about this clipper that you're not gonna like. Like I said, it just plows through hair. And for the most part, I think most of you guys are gonna enjoy using this. And I'm sort of starting to view this as a, replacement for my detachable. Maybe one day I'm actually just going to unplug my detachable. I mean, think about how much less clutter that would create. I wouldn't have the stand with the Oster. I wouldn't have to deal with those batteries. I wouldn't have to buy all those blades. I wouldn't have to get them sharpened. Like literally if I have something that could replace it efficiently enough, 
and it's just as fast. We're going to do some testing and we're going to see if I can really get rid of my detachable clipper and replace it with the Mythic. And if you want to know what it feels like to cut with it, think about how it would be to cut with the corded masters without a cord, but it almost feels the same. The weight feels very similar. Everything about it feels very similar, except for you have the power to pretty much go through whatever you want. When I worked with the corded master, every time I encountered some serious bulk, that thing would grind to a halt. I could not do clipper over comb with it. I could not do a lot of stuff with it. However, it did blend great, and that's the reason why I used it for so long. Also, I'd like to mention that there's another cordless clipper floating around that looks just like this, and I'm not gonna get too in detail about the comparison. However, it does have a different motor. It's got a brushless motor, not a magnetic motor. The technology inside is definitely not the same, but I wanna point you guys to a really good video on it done by my friends at Rum Barber, and you guys can actually see a detailed comparison between the two models, and you guys can figure out which one is right for you. But I'm just going to say that there's always going to be copycats and knockoffs of every brand, and every time somebody's doing something great, there's definitely gonna be somebody right behind them, you know, trying to create something uh, for less so that they can generate sales. However, do they come with the one-year warranty? Do they have the same technology? Do they stand behind the business? Are they supporting your favorite people who are out here like me doing their thing? I don't know, you know, that's a decision that you're gonna have to make, but ultimately, a lot of these companies are helping move the needle forward, even Babyliss. You know, they're making it so people can actually start producing seriously good videos and bringing more people into the fold. They're making the shows better. They're making the learning easier. And it's not just Babyliss, it's Babyliss and it's Wall, Gamma. Uh, and there's a handful of others that I'm sure I'm not mentioning, but they're all contributing to make this thing what it is. Barbering would not be where it is if the companies were just ignoring us like Andis and Wall used to for years. So. With that being said, my final thoughts. Is this gonna be my ride or die clipper? Am I gonna start working with this instead of the Ergo? I will say yes and no, okay? So if I was gonna go to a deserted island, right, and I couldn't bring nothing else, I'm gonna bring the Mythic because I need a clipper that can do it all. I have never actually seen a clipper that can do this much in one package. Cuts through bulk, clipper over comb, fades real easy. It just works well. And that's the reason why I'm definitely gonna have to give this a, a high grade. And that's what I would take to the island. Of course, I'd like to take my Ergo because you know I'd be knocking down good fades with that. But at the end of the day, the Ergo doesn't have quite as much power as the Mythic. So that's probably why I would take that. But as far as day-to-day -day operations go, it's gonna be a little while before something takes down the Ergo for me. But if you guys wanna know anything else about the Ergo or anything Gamma, I'm gonna leave you off with this video right here. And also, we got a little special surprise for you uh, check it out. All right, you guys, the time has come. I uh, got something in the mail and I wanted to wait till this morning to open this. So, all right, here, here we go. Shout out to you guys for helping me get here, man. It's been a long road. It's not been easy. Probably one of the most difficult things I've ever done. There it is, guys, the official plaque. Yes, the first one was Photoshopped uh, because they don't send it right away, but that's what it looks like. Let's open it up all the way. And while I do that, I want to give a quick shout out to a program that I'm working on. It's called the Barber Tuition Initiative. Now, if you guys want to help out like big time, you want to help out other people who are struggling, what we're doing is we're taking contributions from this channel and we're going to give some students their entire barber tuition paid in full. Now, I can't do that without you guys' help. And I got the help of a couple big sponsors. I'm going to be naming them soon. And we're gonna surprise the heck out of somebody when we tell them, yo, your barber tuition is paid for in full. I'm trying to get some other people to help me with this project. And uh, you know, honestly, this plaque is cool and everything. And I don't wanna say it's meaningless because it's not meaningless, but uh, you know, this, this has been a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication, but really it was all just to help you guys out. I don't really care about this. Like, all I'm trying to do is help other people to grow. That's all I've been trying to do on this channel, man. Shout out to you guys, I really appreciate you. This is the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Mr. Eddie Barber and I'll holler at you soon. Peace. Okay, so here's the surprise, man. I wanna say thank you to you guys that helped get me to 100,000. Uh, everybody hit like and drop a comment and you will be entered for a chance to win a pair of shears. I'm only sending these to the USA, I'm sorry, but I'm going to send you guys out a pair of Sensei shears from Shear Police uh, due to the fact that they blessed me with those Mitsutani's in that last video. If you guys haven't seen that, check that out. But yeah, like, drop a comment, be subscribed, and you got a chance to win that. Good luck, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.